Hello there, Internet. Version 2 here with Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Today, fuck it, I am bothered to get that Korok Leaf. Let's go get it. Leaf? No. Seed, that's the word I'm looking for. Korok Leaf is a wholly different item that I don't need at the moment. But every time I've needed a Korok Leaf, it's been the same thing. I need a Korok Leaf right now. God damn it. Let me go find one. How many times have I come across that situation? Like half a dozen across this series? Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay. Fuck, where was it? It's here. Okay, we'll go to this. We'll check out what that treasure chest on the other side was. Then we're going to Katano Bay. Then... I don't know. I'm half considering going back to side quests. Is there another silver one? Motherfuckers, do you want me to just kill all of you? <laughs> Alright, fine. Bust it out again. Man, I've... The higher level enemies are getting more and more common. <laughs> Into the water you go! Fuck you! That's what you get. Oh, and a treasure chest. Which I'm now having trouble grabbing because it's hit out in the middle of the fucking ocean. Dragon Bone Boko Boat. Oh, I'm curious if I have a photo of that. It's too far out for me to even check. Uh, okay. I do. Damn. Oh, actually, maybe this water just has multiple little treasure chests in it. This is possible. So I'm noticing there's another one over there. I was thinking it dropped it, but maybe not. Oh, fishy's jumping over there. Okay. Come here. No, 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 come here. A little bit closer. There we go. I was trying to open it while holding it with my magnesis. Royal Halberd! Uh, well, man, I've got a Gerudo Spear that's shit. So grab it! There's another one just over there. Random River has a bunch of goodies in it. Yeah! Yay, random treasure chest! Let me grab you. Come here. What? Okay, pressing A to open it while holding it. It's like, no, you can't do that. You're holding that thing. Amber, I'll take it. Because now I have the answer. Okay, question. Korok? Or is this, or is this used for a Korok elsewhere? It's a Korok! Hello. Uh, bye. I didn't drop it on your head. I decided to be nice for once. This thing is way too big to just be carrying around on my back while I'm swimming through the ocean. <laughs> Look at the size of the damn thing. Let me equip something else because it looks ridiculous. I can just equip things like this. I somehow keep forgetting that. Yeah, fuck it. Guardian sword. It's a tiny little one on my back again. Yeah. Okay. Let's go do the thing I was going to do last episode before I was rudely interrupted by a blood moon. And then we'll go do the other thing that I was going to do last, also going to do last episode. You fuck off. You all go away. Oh no! You're chasing me and shooting stuff at me, whatever will I do? Run away and not worry about it? That is exactly my plan. Okay. Just a little further. We can almost actually start doing something productive. Maybe. <laughs> Oh, it's raining! They should slip down way easier. Land in there! It's not even rolling. Go, go! Nailed it! Hole in one. I'm awesome. Cora, you found me. Bye bye. Man, I could go get some upgrades right. Oh, right, the treasure chest. I actually want to see what I marked over here and why I marked it. I'm still curious about this. Uh, did, was there anything? Oh, it was a Korok thing! I remember seeing this! But now I remember, yeah. I never actually worked out what this one was. Did I? Because it wasn't one I'm standing near here like caused you to shoot things or anything. I remember I wanted to sh I wanted to blow this with a coral cleave to see if it did anything. 
No, I actually don't remember what this was. I mean, like, I, like, not that I don't, I remember, well, it's using a port. But I don't remember, like, I, I'm not working out what to do with it. Yeah, you're telling me to go here. I'm just curious what to do with it. Because it's, normally, they, like, these things are stand near it and shoot something, but this one isn't. That's what I was thinking, blow it with a coral but I don't have any of those, and none of these trees will give me one. Okay. Remarking this as a coral cliff. That I'll come back to at some stage. Yeah, now I remember coming across that. I remember seeing that exact thing. Would you all fuck off? Okay. So, yeah. That is something that we can do. Just... Like, I'm thinking blow it with a coral cliff. Because standing near it is not activating anything to actually do anything. I also should possibly just wear the Korok mask more often while traveling around. Just to see. Just to see if any appear. Why am I going through here? I have no business being here. Back to Katano Bay. And by back to, I mean going there for the first time. You gotta go there. And see what is happening. Oh my god, pardon me. Because Cass is here. And I really thought I saw him, but I did. I guess I didn't. Like, I really thought I went to Katano Bay at some point. The name sounds so familiar, like I had to go there for a quest or something. Like, I'm just thinking of, like, the beach um, villages and everything. I feel like someone mentioned that, like, someone needs help at Katano Bay. But apparently not. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, Korok. You buy somewhere here. Is it on top of the building? Or at the end of the telescope or something? So the thing with the Korok mask is unlike the Tron sensors, it doesn't tell you what direction it's in. You've gotta make it still hard. Can I? I can't climb there. It's a dead guardian on top of here. It's fucked up, you know? Okay. Yeah, 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 I get it. I'm just trying to work out how to climb on top of this thing. I don't know the best way to climb on here. Ah, fucking I just want to save on top of this building is something. Because it feels like it could be. I can already tell why me wearing this thing is going to be a bad idea. Maybe if I climb this pole. There may not be a way on top of there. Oh, Hightail Lizard, I actually need those. I need those to upgrade my climbing gear, I think. Could be on the edge of the telescope. I mean, it could also not be here at all. Go up here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Cheering music. Oh, fucking damn it. Stop jumping over every. Get up there! Link! I think you're being very uncooperative right now. Motherfucker! It is not here. Okay, I have one last solution and it is gonna be a massive waste, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> if you're hearing the word waste, you can probably work out what my plan is. <laughs> so high up. It's so high up. Oh my god, it totally is up here. Hi, Korok! <laughs> uh, wearing this Korok mask is going to be a bad idea because I'm going to constantly go, there's something nearby, I've got to go find it. Oh, and dive into here. Whee! gonna leap of faith and then I realize it's done my dear. Okay, so which spot is Kitano Bay? Kitano Bay is here. I have marked the absolute middle of fucking nowhere. Okay. Let us go down to the end of the path, actually. We'll go to here, then explore from here, see if we can find cars. Waterfall is 
So we've got 30s. Pretty bay. Yeah, I can see a statue over there. There's that little island over there. Big island over there. Cars! Cars! Whereabouts in here are you? Not on the edge of that rock, damn it. Yeah, is that little thing there? Cars! Like, I see the structure there and a shitload of birds. So it's like, that's clearly it, but just going there isn't good enough. I need to actually know what I'm meant to be doing there. And for that, I need cars. I should be able to hear your music like close enough. Yeah, I know, I, I know, I see this. I see this, Korok. I will get you. I will, I, I will get this one. Don't, do not fear. I see exactly what I'm meant to do here. I'll get this one. Cast, where are you? I need a cast detector. That's what I truly need. Like, it's clearly something to do with that, but what? <laughs> okay. I'm noticing a slight issue here. I'm noticing a slight solution here. <laughs> Now, even if I can't walk across those holding the rock, what I can do is throw it and it will hopefully land on those and then slide in there. Yeah, because I'm not going to be able to make that, but... Ow. <laughs> this belongs right on my head. Ow. Would you fuck off? Go away. Keep destroying Juju Jelly by attacking him. Go away. Go away. I'm busy doing business here. Doing stuff. <laughs> this is so not the way you're meant to do this. But the whole point of this game is you're not meant to do it that way, do it that way. So. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> this is requiring a very, very accurate straight shot to do it this way. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get so much. Trying to line it up is, as I've mentioned, trying to get Link to face the exact direction you want is not easy. Go! I'm running out of rocks. <laughs> uh... Go! Oh, okay. If I drop it from here, will it land in there? Uh, damn it, didn't lift up the rock with it. Fuck. Ah, uh, damn it. Damn it, this is so dumb. This is so stupid. Not clearly not meant to be done this way. But it's what I'm trying for. So now I've made a little catchment. Hopefully if it hits that, it'll roll in. Hey! I'm awesome. I am the success champ. Bow before your success champ. I want these fishies. I know I need fishies to upgrade my stuff, so give me fishies. Mighty porgies. Armored porgies, armored porgies. You will help upgrade the gear that I still don't have. I'm still really confused about the about that gear, but I'll get it at some point. Maybe. Maybe I'll finish the game without it. <laughs> well, I'm just thinking, what do I have to do to get the armory to open up so I can start buying shit again? Okay. This is clearly what the shrine quest is. Where are you? Seriously, where the fuck are you? Like, it's right there. I'm surprised I haven't heard your music yet. Like, I can see it there, and yeah, I mean, it's all well and good that I know where it is, but I don't know what to do with it. Cass? I need your assistance. I need you to at least just be here. Where the fuck are you? Mask? 
Oh, I see. We've got a circle to complete here. We need to find the rock for it. Well, let me just quickly bing this here, cause in case I don't find it. I'm now wandering more away from Katana Bay than I probably want to. No one here. So where the fuck are you? Seriously. Oh, the fact that I haven't heard the music at all is worrying. Where are you? <laughs> no, we're not hard to find. Like, you gotta be somewhere that the camera will then pan to that and say, when this does this thing, the thing will think thing. And I'm worried that I'm not seeing any of this. Makes no sense that I'm able to do this. Climb up there. Oh, no, I can't climb anymore. Oh, but I'm standing still. It's fine, apparently. Okay, Kelsey, worrying me about where you are. What if I fly out to it? Are you on it? I'm really starting to think it's that thing over there, but that doesn't look like You are on it! You're just on the damn thing. Look at all of these birds! <laughs> yeah, I didn't think it'd be on it. Okay. Hello. The smell of the sea. Hi, Cass. So, didn't expect to see anyone else up here. Hello. Oh. How for fortunate across the city. Did you come to see the sea? Uh, all the shades of rock pillar were sitting on the subject of a song. Yes, please. Oh. As you wish. Ahem. An ancient hero spoke these words. One day I'll return to fight evil. My cachet is at 17 of 24. This rock will point toward its retrieval. What? Mm. A hidden stash of money. Uh, if it was left by the engineer that um, defeated the Calamity 100,000 years ago. The hero's cache. Okay. Oh. Yeah, s sing it again. Oh. An engineer spoke these words. One day I'll return to fight evil. Yeah. My cachet is at 17 of 24. This rock will point towards its retrieval. So the rock... Okay, so somewhere over that direction mm. is a cachet that is 17 of 24. Interesting. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming the rock is just pointing- yeah, like, it's pointing that way. Kind of. So somewhere... Over here is a cache? Don't do that. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, what's in here? Gold rupee! Wait, side quest? Now I'm confused. What's the 17 of 24? I'm so confused. Cass? What? So the hero saving about itself for more than a single gold rupee? Mm. <laughs> well, the hero is much richer in character than wealth. That's a fair sum. I hope you make good use of it. I'm so confused. What? What is happening? A Cass song about... Okay. You sold the Royal of Ancient Verse, I cast, uh, and it's a gold rupee for your trouble. What does 17 of 24 mean? Like, is there like 17 rocks here? I'm so confused. Does it. I. Mm, okay. Aww. Mm. Uh, 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 fair, good sum. I hope you make good use. I. Mm. I'm confused. 
Like, I grabbed it, yeah, and I got the cache. I still don't know what 17 of 24 is. Like, um, is it how many rocks are I here? Like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I don't know. I'm confused. I just didn't expect one of these to be a side quest where it wasn't, where it was just money. I... Okay, whatever. What evs, bros? Fuck it. Um... Let's go to this island that's over here. Not this one, this one. Tonobo Beach. Let's go here. Uh, Soka Point. Is that high up? Like, I'm just, th I'm just thinking, can I be lazy and glide to it? Oh, I guess I gotta go up there. I'm probably glide to it. Fuck it. It's Cape Canals. Cape Canaveral. Whatever the fuck it's called. Let's just go here and fly away. Why? Because I am a lazy son of a bitch. Like, I could grab a boat and, like, coral leaf it out there, but what if I don't even have a coral leaf? Like, if I don't, like, what if I can't find a coral leaf and then the boat is useless? The boat is muda. What am I gonna do then? Fuck it, fly to the island. Muo Jean Shrine! So. Yeah, this was. How about the last cast song was just about fucking money? Such a letdown! <laughs> Such a letdown! Oh, that is totally a bit funny. I mean, it's foggy and raining and everything, and I can barely see it, but it's totally a bit flying distance. Now that I have max stamina, it's probably within flying distance. And if it's not, I'll fall into the ocean and drown and slash or eat some stamina things so I can swim over there. One or the other. <laughs> oh, goodness, pardon me. I mean, like an island out in the middle of the ocean like this, it's probably a shrine. Although, that there was a shrine, so I don't know. I don't know. An island this big in the middle of the ocean, it's gotta be like a shrine or maybe a side quest. I mean, what about those islands over there? They're probably not on the map, so it probably doesn't count. Probably. I could have gone on a fishing adventure, got a boat. Run it out over here. Caught a bunch of fishies on the way. Or, I could have not done that, because that would have been boring. Duh! Oh, goodness, pardon me. Pardon everything about me. Don't worry, we're almost there. Even tide islands. Duh! Oh, pardon me. And... Graceful landing. Thunder! Cool. To those who have travelled to this island. Okay, so. Hi, mysterious voice. Got another trial of thunder out here. I present to you with a challenge. In your travels, you've relied on your equipment you've found along the way. Here, you must cast this equipment aside and face this trial with only your wits and whatever you can scavenge. Interesting. Offer up the orbs to the three altars on this island. Only then will I acknowledge your skill and return your items. Stranded on Eventide. Oh! Hey there, buddies. How are you? So... Like, everything? So everything is gone! Cool! Cool! Thanks! Also, fuck you. Yeah. Well, that's one of the orbs over there. Okay! So... I have nothing. And it's thundering everywhere. Huh. Well, I have a, I have a lot of okay. Big hearty radishes, hearty truffles. Okay, okay, I can see. Okay, they've given me a bunch of hearty items right at the start, so I can cook up some meals. I also need to find somewhere to cook. Okay. Tree branches, yeah. Tree branch, back to being a weapon. Interesting. Tree branch, cool. Goat over there to ride on. Hightail Lizard. Is that a Hardy Lizard? I don't think it's a Hardy Lizard. Hardy Lizard. Hylian Shroom. Cool. Oh! Octora. Okay. Man! Way to make everything scary again! Oh, God damn it. Hi there, Octorok. Just hovering in the sky. 
I mean, I have my runes at least, so I, still, I can still like just blow up your bombs. In fact, I can do just that with these fucking bacolons over here. Just grab as many tree branches as we can, because fuck it, we're gonna need them. Surprisingly well balanced. Serve as a weapon in a pinch. Well, this is a pinch, I guess. So, it will fuck you with your thunder bullshit. Do they have a cooking pot over here? Well, they've got a campfire. Hey there, buddies! Hi! Bye! Well, I knocked down some coconuts for me, too. And a, hey, a coral leaf. Cool. So I've got this here. And you there. Hey, a treasure chest. Thank you. What do we got? Traveler's sword. Of course. Of course. Okay. Press a bar. So I thought these were there. Oh, no, they are Boko Spears. Boko Spears. Cool. Hi, Octorok. Do not come and attack me. Alright, well, I want the Boko Spear over the tree branch. Has range to its attack. So we need to find orbs, put them on pedestals. Okay, let us go do this. Oh, hi! Hi there! Fuck you. Uh, so, like, we get here, but all the enemies here are basic. Like, something's growling at me. Krabbies! Someone throwing rocks at me? I think so. Boator! Fire choo choos! Okay, now we're getting. Okay, now we're getting serious enemies. We've got a boat here to fuck off on eventually. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, cool! There's a Hanox out here. How am I meant to kill that? Where did I get a shield from, too? Where did I grab a rusty shield? I do not remember doing that. Electric choo shoes! And oh, okay, okay, okay. She just get. Okay. Shit very quickly got serious. I'm just going to rely on bombs for a while. Relying on bombs will work out. Roll after you! Damn. Hey, it's a good thing I have Darok's protection, hey! I grab your spears, fuck you! Oh my god. Boko spear broke, because of course it did, because it's a fucking Boko spear. Hey there, buddy. Off the island with you. Bye! Bye. You've been voted off the island, bitch. Okay. Well, I have these. I can plop that down next to an enemy and throw shit at And, like, throw something at it to shock a bunch of enemies. See it stay. Maybe you just get that every time you pop up one of those things. Hey, a cooking pot! Okay, that actually does help. A cooking pot, I can make up some food. I can actually do something here. With my uh, very, very limited food resources that I have here. I can increase my hearts. Well, I'm gonna cook these together. Just get one big cooking item done. Fruit and mushroom mix, seven hearts. That will help at some point. Hardy lizard. Well, I have enough hardy stuff to make a meal. One, two, three, four, five. I can make a big hardy meal to get a bunch of extra hearts. Dubious food. Dubious food that heals 17 goddamn things. Oh, I'm meant to cook lizards with monster parts, aren't I? Ah, whoops. Uh, but it's dubious food that heals a lot, so it honestly doesn't matter. Look at all the... I like when you can see where enemies cook food, because they've got gross food next to it. Oh, and that one girl who was cooking gross yep. food, too. Fuck you. Is that Blood Moon? On here? On this island? Fuck you. Well, I probably don't want to be standing here when a blood moon fucking causes all these enemies to up. God damn it! Fuck you. Yeah, of course, of course it has one on its fucking chest. Okay. <laughs> fucking blood moon. I wonder if this island is rigged to have blood moons occur every single night. <laughs> so if you take too long, enemies will just start respawning. <laughs> blood moon rises once again. Bullshit. Just took out a camp and you're fucking blood mooning me. Good thing I didn't kill the Hanox already, Jesus. Hi Hanox. Fuck. Okay. So the ultimate challenge of this island is get enough shit together so you can kill a goddamn Hanox. Uh I will admit, this is an interesting challenge, but holy shit. Soldier's spear, thank you for that one. 
Okay, I did see something up here. I'm curious what the other orbs are. I, I, like, I swear to god, if it's gonna be like that other one with its three Henoxes, do not make me take out three Henoxes. Okay, well, we've got a camp here. Oh, there's, a, okay, there's an orb at this camp. This is fine. We're just gonna take out the camp. Which has moblins at it. Cool. Cool. You know how I was mentioning before how I wanted to rely on the mechanics of this game a lot more often? Well, I mean, I guess this is one way of doing that. Nope. I want to get over to that treasure chest so it's in there before I get spotted by anyone. I mean, I can take out that moblin pretty easily because there's an explosive next to it. If I throw a bomb at it, it's fucked. Soldier's bow. Cool. I don't have any arrows. That doesn't help. Well, I made this slightly harder on myself. Hi there, buddy. Hi. Yep. Fuck you. Uh, fuck you. Uh, okay. Well, that has got us some access to some weaponry, at least. I'll take the bow. Oh, bone was actually a shitload of damage. Yeah, dogs protection. A bit wasteful on that one, but dogs protection. Hey, did I kill the moblin already? Holy shit, I did too. Fuck you, moblin. Yeah, keep firing at me. All you're doing is giving me more ammo to shoot you with. Yeah, you try it. Fuck you. Ah, <laughs> uh, plop, plop, plop. Grabby, grabby, grabby. And still one more arsehole over here. Hey there, buddy! I have a present for you. It is called death. <laughs> uh, oh, arrow over there. Grab as many arrows as we can. Like, we need to stock the fuck up to take out that other thing. Oh. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Uh, I see what you're you want me to kill the fucking Octorok to balloon this up? But what if I just do this? Yep. What if I just do that? That's why this never works. <laughs> uh, okay. If I kill an Octorok, I can get a balloon to lift that up to do that at least. Yep. And I'm glad the Blood Moon happens then, instead of like after I took out that camp. Jesus. Okay, anything up the top? At the very top? Like, I think there'd be something up here. Oh, it's animals. Do I have a photo of that one there? Water buffalo, I do. Hi there! Hi there, water buffalo. I'm guessing, like, you can climb up here and you can get some food, so you can start healing. Like, if you need be. Okay, well, we know where all the pedestals are. Now it's just a matter of finding where the last orb is, and also putting everything in place. Okay, so we need to find an Octorok to kill it. And... Ugh, why is there ore here? Oh, I guess that's probably rock salt, so you can cook up better items. Okay, Octorok discovered another enemy camp here you both need to fuck off oh I only have limited shots here so you can use them wisely grab your balloon better better if you didn't drop a balloon you didn't drop a balloon god damn it stop it wow being bad with my shots now okay Stop it! That actually hurts now! <laughs> there we go. Okay, air balloons! Awesome! So now we can go at least get that one at the top. Before we go any further, go over here. I do see a treasure chest over here. We'll grab it because it's probably important. And, oh, it's plopping into the water. 
Fine. What do we got? Soldier's broadsword! Man. The inventory's full? If I picked up that many fucking shit weapons, I have to. <gasps> ah, top of tree branch. You know what, game? I'll give this to you. You've had a situation where me getting a soldier's broadsword is exciting. So, you did well on that front. You have sufficiently put me in a situation where mechanics matter once again. I'm still not sure how I'm meant to take a Phoenix. Everything else I can deal with. I, I know enemy other enemy tactics well enough to take out those enemies. You don't see me, fuck you. No, you don't see me. Shit. You totally see me. Surprised you didn't call out the horn on me. Damn. What made you be nice this day? <laughs> Random goblin. Ah, shit. Yeah, I made it. Barely, but made it. <laughs> uh. Okay, well, it's six o'clock, so we're a quarter of the way through the day. What I'm still worried about is more goddamn fucking other things appearing. Like, more blood moons. Okay. Go over to this. Hold the mess. And plop you on there. Run off. Yay! Now I can grab the orb. And yay! Perfectly lifted away. Bye! Okay, well that is... One! One done. Boom. Okay. Two left. One of them being a fucking... Yeah, because there's this Hinox here, and the pedestal's there. I'm assuming that's the pedestal for the Hinox. So somewhere in this forest is probably what I got. Oh, there's the orb right there. So that orb is for that section over there. Okay. So yeah, enemy. Yeah, two enemy camps and a Hinox to take out. Well, I mean, I can take care of the worst part of this problem right now. If I can aim properly. Probably don't want to be using all my arrows right now when I'm going to want to be using those against the Hinox to shoot it in the face. But hey. Grab some arrows, soldier's bow, I'll take. You're gone. Alright, they're running away scared. Hi. But again, probably don't want to use the boat all while I'm fighting weaker enemies. Oh, I was wondering why I could hear wind. Because there's a fire choo-choo running around, it's causing chaos. Hey, buddy! You go away now. Yeah! Oh! I'm, I'm, I'm using weapons that are doing like two damage and wondering why she isn't dying. Because Fire Chuchu is just running around causing mayhem by just like, I'm just gonna run around and set everything on fire. What of it? <laughs> uh, burn down the whole island. Grabby grabbies. Goodies. What do we got? Soldier's bow. That is good. Okay. Now we've just got to get this over to the other side of the island. See, so yeah, the one at the top was take out a moblin and a camp, so that's why that one's hard. That's an easier camp to take care of, but it's the orb that's the furthest away from its spot. So, you got to get through the island with it. Oh, hey. Fuck. That looks like a cock. Oh, no, I see what it is. I was gonna say it's a coral cliff, but no, there's a there's an axe in there to cut down trees with. That's what it's, that's what's in there. But it's in the middle of a pool of malice. And ooh, some mighty actually, yeah, mighty bananas. The O's I'm gonna want. I'm gonna want the absolute fuck out of those. Oh, cock, 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 cock. Uh, interesting, really interesting shrine, like. Just forcing you to have to go back to how it was at the start of the game and go, I need this, I need this, I need this. And get ready for everything. Okay. Just gonna put you here for a second. I need to take care of you. Fuck you. Uh, nothing worthwhile there. Okay. Best solution. Is it... Go away! Actually, probably be better to... No, probably better to just bomb you. 
taking out anything else from with that good idea. But taking a choo choo is probably a very good idea. I can throw that next into the Hinox and blow it up. Uh I'm just trying to think, is Cryonis over to here gonna be a good idea? Or should I try and build a bridge of some sort with the like magnesis things? Because what I'm thinking is I'll Cryonis like I Cryonis like here. And I Cryonis like here. If I throw it, land it in between those so it doesn't roll away, go swim over to it and pick it up. I can just Cryonis right beneath it. Oh, it's actually just stuck against the wall here. So, breaking there will be fine. Damn it! Get up there. Okay. Break that, and... Am I gonna be able to do this? I... Can! Yes. Do not roll back into the water. Fuck you! Yeah! Two or three! Yeah. Only the Hinox left. Yay! The easy one. It's not even a red Hinox, it's a blue Hinox. So it's gonna be even more difficult. Because of course. Well, what we can do is we'll go back through here, pick up like the bananas and the things like that, go cook them, and prepare ourselves with as much like, like surviving the basic enemies isn't too di oh. surviving the basic enemies isn't too bad. Like you can fight the basic enemies without too much issue. Ah, Christ! I didn't even see that was a treasure chest there. Yeah! Rupees and tentacles. Okay. I didn't even see there was a treasure chest there, so I didn't even realize that someone was gonna burst out and attack me. But okay, yeah. Treasure chest wants just to fuck you up. God damn it. Uh. Like, I see that over there. Like, I see that. Yeah, this is the woodcutter's axe. Not really worth it for fighting a Hanox. Like, not worth jumping in and getting hurt or anything. Okay, well... Yeah, Hinox is just over there. Is there a pot or anything on this one here? I feel like the answer is probably not. Like, the one spot to cook something seems to be that one over there. The one next to the Hinox. Maybe this one up here? Where the Moblin was? This might have a cooking spot? I'm not sure. Run, 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 run! Jumpy, jumpy, jumpies. And imagine if they made this island big enough so you had to worry about temperature too. Oh, and it fell back on top. Okay. Okay, I still need a fire to light this thing. So, let's grab a fire to light this thing. And. Ow. Ah. <laughs> uh, Okay, we can cook up some super attack power stuff with some bananas. Hell yes. Boom! High level attack boost. It's not the best thing in the world, but it will help. Actually, if we're gonna cook that, cook something else into it. Wait, is this a razor core? Ah, oh, it's defense, damn it. Alright, we'll cook all this together. Boom! More attack boost if we're running low on health at any point. Defense, not too worried about, but more defense. I will cook up one, two, three, four, five, just so I can have another healing item. Because I feel like the Hinox can probably kill me with this much health in like two hits, so I still want to take out as much of it as I can. Oh, something burned away. A treasure chest that I missed before. Knight's Broadsword. Okay, 26 damage. That's pretty good. Well, that can go away. <laughs> 26 damage will actually be pretty good against the Hanox. But, if it's the color Hanox that I'm thinking it is, will it have barriers around its legs? 
Sing on the woodcutter acts like it actually spin around in a circle and do a shit with it. Like, punk, 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 punk to it, but... Okay, we've got this, okay. Here's the... Okay, here's our plan. We're gonna have this equipped. We're gonna put out... No. We're gonna put out our bombs. We're gonna fly above it, drop a bomb, drop another bomb, slow motion, shoot it in the eyeball, blow it up. So we can do as much damage to it at the start as we can. And before I fight it, maybe I should heal up just a little bit. Just to make sure I'm on a higher amount of health. Yeah, we can fly above it. We'll drop one bomb. We drop another. And then we do this. Fuck, I missed. <clears throat> yeah, you fall down. Yeah, you fall onto the bombs. Fuck you! They missed. Hey there, buddy. Yeah, you've got shit on your legs. And I also have no other arrows. I had a lot less arrows than I was hoping. Ah! Yeah, without methods of actually taking out its eyeball, I'm worried. Ah! Ah! Okay. Plants. I can throw these spears pretty well. Ah, oh, that is the wrong button. Yeah, no. Okay. Yeah. Even Zide Island Hinox. One of the scary Hinoxes in the game because of the situation. Ha! Yeah! That's how you fucking do it. Okay. Um, soldiers brought to it. Go! Oh! Before we start attacking it, now is the time. Attack boost up. Yeah! Ow. Yeah, that hit me bad. I tried to dodge away from it and it didn't quite work out well. Okay. Back to a weapon. Uh, Boko Spear. We've got a lot of those. Yeah! <laughs> uh, thank you for the spears! Shit, bro. Boom! Yeah! You try it again. Okay. Go back to another spear. Ah, you idiot! Stop bending down and looking me right in the face! Alright, book a bat! Oh, fuck, 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 no. Do this one, yeah! Ow, 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 ow! That one hurt. Okay! <laughs> okay. Eat this. Okay. Yeah, risking. Yeah, risking that, um, damage again. No, you're not. <laughs> Fuck, I missed. Okay, back to another weapon I can throw. I can throw a soldier's spear, but it's probably wiser to use that for attacks. I can throw the bucket clubs. They don't throw anyone here as well. It's a troll. Okay. If I didn't have rooms for this place, I would be fucked. God damn it. I had to get you as you were closing the goddamn I did not. Go away. Go away. Big and scary, I get it. Yeah! <laughs> uh, soldier Spear, go! Go, go! Come on! Go, 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 go! Running away. Yeah! Bye, Hanox! Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> and a bunch of weapons that I don't really need now. Uh, I like there was probably like bolt like the way that I did that. I probably just one of multiple like ways. Well, like, I saw that it had a dragon bone thing, so maybe like if you like when you knock it over, or depend like if you like jumped onto its stomach before it like woke up or anything, you could probably could have grabbed that and grabbed like a much more powerful weapon. But hey, taken care of. And now it's thundering. Do not lightning bolt me right at the end of this goddamn thing because I'm carrying around 
Thunder, like thundering shit. <laughs> Do not strike me down now, that would be the worst. Oh! Right, I forgot these things were gonna respawn. Because of the goddamn blood moon. Go away! Fuck off! God damn it. Do you have to be cunts like this? Really? Do you have to? Go away! Yeah, come here, watch it. Damn it. Yeah, walk over here, I dare you. Fuck you. That's what you get. Do not fuck with me after I just defeated Aenox. I will end you like I just did. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> uh, well. With that. Bubble. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's where it's gonna spawn. On top, of course. It's thundering now and it's like raining and shit. Now it's gonna be annoying to climb it. Ugh. But hey! Boom. Man. I feel sorry for the people who did this shit early on in the game. Like, when they had no health. You've done well to complete the trial. I will now return your things, as I promised. Hey, we get them back now. Yay. Thank you. Come, enter the shrine. <laughs> Yo, did it. Stranded on Eventide. Complete. So now it's just like permanent thunder. Is that the thing? This is like, now you've done it. Now climb this island and also fuck you. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go up to the top of, I think it said Coho Lit Rock, and then we will claim our reward. If you can't put a goddamn fucking actual tr like thing inside that I have to clear, then screw you. Go away. No, now I'm not scared of you. Did you see the shit that I just went through? Clearly not scared of you now. Just seeing how much of this I can get away with, just like, start climbing, then stop climbing. It's like, oh yeah, I don't have to actually worry about any of it. Yeah. To the top of the island. In the fucking rain. Is it set to just like, rain the moment that it finishes? Like to just be like, hey, by the way, screw you. <laughs> okay, where is my items? There they are. Carry me up to the top of the island! Yeah! Fuck the rain! Fuck the rain! Yeah! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> okay, it doesn't go forever. <laughs> I got part of the way up. I feel like it's one, two, three. I feel like it's deliberately set to start one, two, three, four. Like it's deliberately meant to just start raining the moment that you finish it, just to add a little bit of annoyance to the end of it. Because like it is thunder for the rest of the night. Unless night times on here are thunderous. Maybe that's it. Kogu Chide Shrine. I beat your challenge. I beat your fucking Eventide Islands. Take away all my items, I will still clear that shit. Fuck you. Yeah, I feel sorry for the people who found it, who went to this island early in the game. Like, if you went here with like 10 hearts and like not full stamina, fuck. <laughs> or even just like not like having tactics of, um, down of like how to take out enemies. Like, imagine if that was the first Hinox that you fought. Like, the way that you went about it, that was just somehow the first Hinox that you fought. Fuck! Uh, I mean, that Hinox did, like, over 15 hearts of damage to me with one of its attacks, I believe. To those who set foot in the shrine, I am Korgu Chide. By entering this place, you've proven your worth. Hell yeah. Boom. Treasure chest. What do we got? Giant Ancient Core? Gold Rupee! Hell yeah. And, yep, that's... Everything here. Hell yeah. Look, there's actually a tiny little island off the side of it. 
I didn't even notice that. And... Boing! Pew! Yeah! You have done well to arrive at this shrine. A hero rises to right the wrongs of Hyrule. I feel like I spent most of the episode on this. <laughs> like, cause I went and got that one Korok uh, thing. I went to where the other cast song was, which there was no shrine there. And then I went here. And now it's like... Yeah, I feel like I spent a lot of the episode on this. I mean, it's fine. It's clearly a big one. But still. Boom! Refill my heart. May the goddess smile upon you. Thanks, goddess. Mwah. And teleport these away. Like a really interesting shrine. Like forcing you to go back to the basics is just like, shit, I actually need to go around and scavenge items to find shit so I can try and even have a chance of doing this. Man, that colouring when I came out here did not look accurate, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. Okay. So there's a tiny, like, little island here. I'm curious what's over here. Let me go look at that. What is this? Was this meant to be like, if I wanted really good weapons during the thing, I could have come over here and got something, like, powerful? Just a tiny little island here. Important question. Treasure chest down here? Yes, there is. Alright. Like, this feels... Okay, open this and run away. Because thunder? Ten arrows, okay. So, yes, is the answer. If you wanted to come to this island, you could get some extra arrows to take out the boss, I guess. Whoa! Grab some fishies, because I still need these. Mighty porgies. Mighty porgies. Mighty porgies. Oh, armor porgies. Yeah! Yeah, I think that's the only reason for this little island to exist. So you can get an extra 10 arrows for taking out the thing. So, yeah. That is another one of our shrines done. Yeah, there's kind of a pathway over here. Like those little rocks here. You could either swim out here and try and grab onto those rocks each there, or just bounce across it with Cryonis. Okay, well, we shall head back to some where. I don't know what we're gonna do. Did I go to Soka Point at any point? I have. I have been here. Oh yeah, there's a Korok at the end. I'm trying to think of where the fuck I should go to find more shrines. Uh, is this big over- like, Tobio's Hollow, I feel like something has to be here. Like, it's this big middle thing in the build, this big area that I haven't been in. Feels like there could totally could be something there. Fuck it. I will mark it. Uh, okay. I'm going to start marking some places that I think are potential interest for shrines, but aren't necessarily shrines. So, now that I don't have any stars marks on the map anywhere, we'll mark there, because one could be there. Uh, let's put on the hero's path thing and just be like, where have we not been and what looks important? There, uh, no, wait, no, no, no. That is where that thing is, never mind. Akala Falls? Fuck it, one could be here. How do I do this? I do it that way. Akala Falls, that looks like an important spot there. Um, Shadow Park? No, that's just, that's not a, that's a encampment there. No. Um, somewhere out here, maybe? Well, that's a big, big area just at the back of the, of the place. I'll put it here. I'm just trying to, like, when I think of where I should go, um, okay, there's a big, giant fucking area that I haven't explored here, so, probably somewhere here, this spot looks good, in the middle of this shit here, uh, Hebra Plunge, Corvash, there's a big area here, like, I spent so long in this area, and there's still, like, giant sections of it that I've explored, I spent most of my exploring just here. Um, fuck it. Corvash Peak can possibly have one. 
I'm just trying to mark big areas that I haven't explored to go, I should look for shrines here. Um, Hyrule Ridge with the Sarah Scablands. Oh, that's ne that's the no, that's connected to Thunder Plateau, probably not. Um, the middle of this area. I mean, I found this one like no, because if there was one here, it would have been Shrine Censoring here, and the Shrine Censor led me to here, so probably not there. Um. That one is actually a Sandseal Rally, so we actually know that that one's there. It's probably more in the desert because it's a giant fucking area, but it's a giant fucking area and there's nothing distinct on this map here. So just keep an eye out for somewhere in the desert. Sultry Plateau. And a Bridge here. And Flora. Nah, because there's one right there. Um. No, I went there. Tobia Hollow I've got marked. Probably not here. Where is this? Oh, this is next to Kakariko. Cliffs of Quince. Is this where the... Yeah, this is where the wall is. Okay. Not gonna mark it as a shrine, but a treasure chest. I, wanna check I do want to actually go to that wall and properly check it out at some point. And check out the Ash Swamp, like the battlefields area there. Now that I don't have to worry about how strong the enemies are there, then I can actually do that. Okul's Naval. But there's no shrines around this big area here. Like, there's a big section here without shrines, so maybe an Okul's Naval. This big field here, maybe. I'm just gonna mark it here in the middle of the field. Like, this is just like, at some point, I will just wander around trying to find fucking shrines with just all these random spots that I've marked. Uh, I, that is enough for the time being. Where am I gonna teleport to? Fuck it, maybe I should do some side quests next episode. I feel like I've got a lot of side quests in Kakariko and um, Hatana that I never did. Let me just... I have done a lot, though. I've done... Yeah. Al oh, Outskirt Stable. I need to go there. Actually, we'll make that the end of this episode. Um, so, Stable, Stable, Forest, Forest, Grudo, Rito. Yeah, Kakariko. Okay, so yeah, there's like two in um, Hatano and two in Kakariko. We'll go and we'll try and do those to see what's up with those. And maybe we'll go around to the stables as well. But, to end this episode off, let us go to here, to the out... To the outside table, and let's just show the fact that we have the master sword, and we can show off and be like, "Hey, look what I've got!" And they'll be like, oh, "What master sword?" And I'll be like, "Yeah." That is, that'll be the exact noise that I make. Yeah, and they'll be like, "My hero," because that's the name of the quest. I should also just go somewhere and just buy a fuckload more arrows again, because I can. I've got four thousand rupees. Might as well just buy as many goddamn fucking arrows as I please. I still need a star fragment. No, fuck it. I'm gonna do this and then I'm going to go to the top of a tower. Is it close to midnight? Is it close to midnight? It is pretty close to midnight. Okay. We're gonna go down here. We're gonna do this. We'll go to the tower in the middle of like the Hyrule field. Like that one right over there. And then we'll just examine out and go where is this? Where is it? Where's the thing at? And outskirt stable. Yo! Ah, oh, hey ho ho! Okay, well, so I look like a hero. Let me change out my clothing. Wear this so I remember to fucking get the goddamn thing that I'm meant to be getting. Um, put back on my bow, but more importantly, Master Sword! Hi there. Did you meet the hero? I am he! What? It was you! That sword is proof enough. I'm so happy right now! A little something I've been saving for you. Please take it. Yes! Oh, fuck your star fragments! Fuck anything! Fuck going to a tower! <laughs> oh, it feels so good to check that off the bucket list. But now that I've met you, some of the excitement's gone. I mean, you're not even my type. Oh, come on. Sorry, buddy. Well, toodaloo! Fuck. <laughs> my hero! Complete. I've never spoken to the kid. Gonna sleep. Okay, bye, hate. Uh, 
Must be really busy, you know, saving the world and all. So instead of spending your time chatting with random strangers, maybe think about doing your job, yeah? Oh! No! I will never stop it. Ah! Wow. Wow. Wow, what a bitch. I mean, thank you for the star room. What a bitch. Alright, I'm gonna upgrade the diamond circlet. Let's go do it with best girl. I don't remember her name. I don't remember any- no. Kotera. Kotera is one of them. I remember the other names. But Kotera, I remember that. But that, this one isn't Kotera, because Kotera, I believe, is the blue haired one near Kakariko. I think. Maybe it would have made sense to go to the one at Kakariko, being like, oh, she's the one who's like near Kakariko Village, like the important thing and everything. And I'm meant to be going there soon anyway, but. Yeah, I'm not changing up my clothes just because it's a bit cold. Just stop being a bit cold. Start taking damage soon. Terra! Ba bon! Cough, cough, cough. Water! I inhaled a lot of water. <laughs> you came to me having your clothing enhanced, uh -huh. right? Yes. To the max, please. Hell yes. Diamond circlet. Mm -hmm. Finally gonna get this shit upgraded. Thank you to the My Hero person for just giving me a goddamn star fragment. <gasps> Man, we're gonna have maximum defense and look fucking good while having it. <laughs> and we have some guardian defense too. And. Dun da 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 da! A headpiece set with a diamond which uses the power of light to reduce damage from ancient enemies. A great fairy has increased its defense to the maximum <laughs> level. Hell yeah. Perfect sometimes, I'm so good at scary. Double check the others just to say what I need. I can upgrade one of these pieces. In fact, I almost have enough rubies to upgrade all of them. But I need some of the others. Sapphires, I need a shitload of sapphires and more well, Zelfo's tails. Uh, Lionel guts for that. Just some more Bokoblin guts and the Hylian so it can actually be finished off. Not that that matters. Rare, all my jewelry's good. That's done. Done, done. Topaz is done. I can upgrade this stuff now, but I want to save this for when I do get the, like, headgear for this set, which I'm still really, like, shocked that I haven't come across the shrine that gives me it yet. But whatever. This stuff here. Smothering butterflies. Not gonna bother. Uh, I need to get a little bit more for this. I need to do grinding before I do the... the uh, like, I'm hoping that because I got the Zora armor through the main quest for it, that I'll get the other pieces of the Zora stuff through the rest of the quest. Or maybe there's like other people there to do it for me. I'm still really curious why I haven't gotten those. Uh, this stuff is all level two, which just need river snails and stuff. Stealth fin trout. I think the only stealth fin trout I've gotten is from Amiibo. So whatever. That one, star fragment, yeah, not doing that. Climber's bandana, that. This is only level one. I need four more high tail lizards so I can actually get the climbing um, set boost as well. That stuff, I might eventually get that up to there, but that would require like off screen grinding because lazy. This stuff too, but it'll probably also require uh, star fragments because it's amiibo, that stuff's done. This stuff is ready to go. I'm not gonna use ancient cores for this though, because I've still got the weapons to make, so that stuff can just hang tight for a second there. Did I check what the bonus was for this? Because it's all level two? I don't know if I did. Oh. Aww. Well, that's just a shame. <laughs> Bye, Terra. Yeah, did I check what the bonus was for the Guardian set? I don't even remember what it was. Ancient, oh, that's right, yeah, you do more, I'm assuming, more damage with ancient weapons. So if you're using ancient weapons, that'd be really good. How do you see with this helmet? Does it, like, have, like, laser points inside so you can see through, like, that middle section there? I don't know. Point is, putting on best clothes, because, hell yeah, 88 defense, and I look the best. Or does that look better? That does not look better than my nice set. Well, they're the only pants that have maximum defense. Like, those are the two pants. So, fuck it. This set. Okay. We are freezing our butts off, so I'm gonna teleport somewhere else. Fuck it. Let's teleport to Kakariko Village. Is this Kakariko? It is. So, yeah. Next episode, we will do some side quests in 
aiming for Kakariko and Hitano, but we'll go do some others as well. Maybe we'll go. Maybe we'll also make it a go around to stables and like chat to people at stables and see if I missed any shrine quests or side quests because people were mentioning me to do that a fair bit, like both in comments and real life, which makes me feel like I missed some. But we'll focus on Hitano and Kakariko first. Oh, there's a shrine in Kakariko that I never got. There's that orb that Impa won't fucking let go of. I need to work out that shit soon. And plop. So yeah, next episode, we'll go back down into Kakariko. Maybe we'll talk to Kilton too. Actually, we'll make talking to Kilton the first thing because it's a nighttime thing. Still want to see how much shit I can give him so he can actually upgrade his goddamn inventory for once. Point is, all of that will happen on the next episode. So, until then, this is version 2, signing out.